Hello, and welcome to a demonstration on how to clean and inspect your rubber gloves in the field. Properly maintaining your rubber gloves could save your life. Gloves are the first line of defense against accidental electric shock. ASTM standards require that gloves are inspected and electrically tested every six months, but a field inspection is necessary prior to every use. Physical damage or a volatile chemical left on the rubber can degrade it to the point of offering little to no protection. The first inspection is visual. The next few slides will cover the different types of visual blemishes and what can cause each of them. The first blemish to look for is checking or cracking. These are caused by UV or ozone exposure. Natural rubber provides excellent electrical protection, but just like car tires, if left exposed to elements, it will begin to crack and degrade. Always keep your gloves in approved storage containers. Splits, cuts, or holes are blemishes that you should always be on the lookout for. These can be caused by wood splinters, cable ends, tool edges, and more. Next up are grooves. These are usually caused by rope burns or heat exposure. It is important to make sure that your leather protector gloves are fully intact to help avoid damaging your rubber gloves. Creases are usually caused by leaving the glove inside out for too long or storing it folded in an unnatural way. It is important to always store your gloves with the cuffs beaded side out to help avoid creases. Another visual blemish to look for is blooming or swelling. This is caused from chemical or oil exposure. Any petroleum-based product can cause this, such as inhibitors, hydraulic fluids, and transformer oils. It is important to instantly wipe off all chemicals and oils immediately. If left, your gloves will absorb the oils, and even though the swelling will disappear, the integrity of the gloves will be compromised. Field inflation is vital when using a rubber glove in the workplace. These next slides will explain how to properly inflate a glove in the field and how to check for air leaks once inflated. First, grasp the gloves at the edges. Then stretch the bead and roll the bead over onto itself. Place the glove against the body and begin to roll the bead towards the fingertips. While doing this, continue to press down firmly to keep the air in the glove. Listen for leaks. This is important because a very minor hole you can find only by this inflation method can allow electricity through. If no leaks are found, release air and turn glove inside out. Be sure all of the fingertips are fully turned before you start inflation so as they won't pop out during the bead roll and not allow high enough pressure to build within the glove. Repeat the listening for leaks process described earlier for the glove's interior. That's it. You have visually inspected your gloves. This should be done before each use of your gloves. Thank you for your time, and remember, always wear your gloves.